So certainly here in the UK at the minute with it being winter time, it's pretty cold, it's dark rather early and there's not much chance to get out on the course and play much golf. So some of you may well be at home doing some work in a mirror or maybe hitting some balls in an indoor facility if you've got that chance. And it's a great time to work on a few checkpoints in your golf swing. So what I thought I'd do is just put three checkpoints certainly that I like to look at when a player is making their backswing. So once we're happy with the grip and the setup, the first checkpoint is shaft first level with the ground. And at this stage, I like to see the player's hands covering his left thigh from this view with the mirror there down the line, making sure that the head of the club is just a smidgen out in front of the hands. You wouldn't want to see this sort of look where the hands are getting too far away from you. So at shaft first level with the ground, are the hands opposite that left thigh. Your next checkpoint would be when the left arm is level with the ground in the backswing. At this stage, we like to see the player's right hand for the right-handed player somewhere opposite that right bicep area. That makes sure then that the left arm's in sufficiently. And into the top of the swing, we like to see the end of the grip now. If we took a line straight down, we'd be just behind the player's heels. That makes sure then that we've got enough depth in the arms to be able to deliver the club back down to the ball on the inside. So once again, three easy checkpoints. Shaft level with the ground, are your hands opposite the left thigh? Left arm level with the ground, hands opposite that right bicep. And then at the very top of the swing, the end of the handle would be just somewhere behind the heels. If you can do all of those, like we said, that just gets you in a nice spot to be able to deliver the club down and into the ball on the correct path. 